Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today Mama Red Buck is going to cook up a pot roast. Stove top pot roast, pot roast in a pot on the stove. So what are you, what are you cooking up, Mama? You got? I'm going to cook a boneless uh, chuck roast. Holy cow, 22 bucks. What is this, for three pounds? Now you usually cook up about a three pound roast every time you do it? Yeah, if I make one, I make pretty good a little size one. Not no yeah. big one, not no little one. About the size of your pot? For this recipe, all you're using is your piece of meat and then just some bouillon, huh? Yes. And those are those. I'm are the using the bouillon paste, not the cubes. Okay, so the bouillon paste. So I'll yeah. just stand back and uh, show you can show us this simple pot roast recipe. Okay, we're gonna get him ready here. And always get one that has marble in it. You need the marble to make it tender. So you want to get a little marbling in there so there'll be some juiciness. Yeah. Now you're washing it off. Didn't Julia Child say not to wash it? I don't know. I wasn't around when Julia was here. I forget so. what a spring chicken you are. Julia Child, she was a famous cook in the in the previous century. Well. So you might not be familiar with her. I don't know her. who's been handling this meat, so I like to rinse it Oh, out. well, we know who's handling it now. Yeah. All righty. So you give your beef a bath. And just kind of block him a little bit. Give him a light massage. Okay. All right, do you need a man to open that? Because I can uh, go see. next door and see if the fella's home next door. I got him here. All right, so now why do you like using this? This is the paste. And all I do is put the paste on it. I don't add any salt. And that has a lot of That's, salt. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to like get him ready here. So you're just rubbing in. This is like the ladies' bathroom on prom night. Yeah putting that extra powder on him. Yeah. So you're putting just a pretty thin layer on there? Yeah, you, I'm not putting a lot on there. This bottle will last you six, seven good months. How many, how many roasts do you do with that jar? Oh, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, you can do a lot of different things with it. I use it mostly just for, you know, just for the roast. But it, it'll last you a long time. After you open it, you always you keep refrigerator it. If you took this roast to the beach, and put suntan lotion on it, it'd be about the same amount. <laughs> yeah, this gives it such a good taste. Oh yeah, it definitely does. So that's all there is to it, huh? That's all there is. Now we got with the pan here. You don't have right any now, oil, butter, grease, nothing. I don't have nothing. nothing there, it's just the pan. Need kind of a heavy pan. Don't put it in a real thin pan. Put yeah, it in it's, got a, it's got a nice bottom yeah. on there. You don't want it to be too thin because this is going to be on the stove for thin. a while. Now we're going to add a little bit of water to him. This is going to make its own juice. It's going to cook in its own juices, but we're going to put a drop in the bottom to get him started. Let me get my hands clean here. So you just got your meat bouillonned up and you set it unadorned in a plain old empty pan. In a plain old empty but it's pan. a nice heavy bottom pan. I'm gonna add a drop of water. So that's all you're putting in there. So out of that fourth of a cup, you really only put a couple of tablespoons yeah, I of water try. in there. That's all I used. Okay, so you didn't even use half of that. See, that's right now that's that's what you got. Yeah, so that's that's hardly anything at all. Now we're gonna turn him up here for a few minutes. Get him started. All right, so you put the heat on high. Yeah, let's. And we'll just leave it on there for just a few minutes. Yeah, let's leave him on there a few minutes. We'll, you'll hear him. And see, he's got, see how, see the liquid in him? Yeah. He's got, he's got plenty. Not a whole lot. Because a lot of liquid, a lot of water is going to come out of this beef. Yeah, a lot of, uh, it's going to have, a, it's going to make its own juice. Yeah. All righty, so it started bubbling up here pretty quick. You've had it on high for about two minutes. Yeah. You look like a witch over a cauldron. You making a meat spell? Yeah. All right, so now you're just flipping him over? Yeah, flipped him over. So you just lightly brown him on one side? Yeah, just to see it's very light. Okay, let's go ahead and cut him on low. So what are you doing? Just moving that water around on, under the bottom? Yeah, I just want, you know, while the heat's going down. Just so he don't get... Just for busy work? Yeah, just stuck so he don't get, you know. Okay, now, we're going to cover him and we're going to just leave him. So you're not going to fool with it anymore? I'm not going to bother him. If I do anything, I'll check him just to check on his juices. 
and uh, flip him over. So mama's got the pot covered. It's three o'clock. She's got it on low heat. Yeah. And we're gonna go play some cards. Okay. Alrighty. All I'm right. gonna go lose some money and then uh, we'll come back and check on our meat. Okay. Alright, before we start playing cards, let's take a peek. It's only been about seven minutes and it's already started to release a lot of the juices. Alright, Mima. Stop, okay. stop putting it off. Come over here and shuffle up. Alrighty, All so now it's been almost 40 minutes. Let's see. Yeah, Ali, it looks like it's in a swimming pool now. So we let it just keep on going, right? Let him keep on going. He's going he's gonna to cook all of his juices out. All righty. So it's been almost an hour, Mima. Okay. And you still got it on low. You've had it on low this whole time. Yep. It's coming down for sure. Let's go ahead and flip yeah, it. I think it's reduced a little bit. Smells wunderbar. Going to cover it up. Now we're just going to keep checking it until it reduces down to nothing, huh? Yep. Alrighty, so it's been an hour and a half. So what you gonna do, Mimo? We're gonna turn him over here. See, he's... Uh-oh, we mistimed it with the bells. You don't have a video-friendly clock. You can see, see the grease and the stuff in the bottom? Yep. Okay, it's gonna start browning here. So we just gotta keep a closer eye on yeah. it as it reduced down yeah because you want to you want to make sure it doesn't stick on the bottom yeah now you're gonna have to stop taking your card beating to pay a little more attention to this yeah you don't have many cards over there Mimo. look at all these here how are you going to compete well we'll see we've had it going for about an hour and 45 minutes you ready to peek at him see yeah. what he... the camera's rolling dude well, he's still got a little bit of water in there a little bit of juices uh, not much. It's mostly see, it's yeah, it's getting down to the wire. I'll turn him up just a little drop. Alrighty. So you took him from low to what? Low and a half. Low and a half. <laughs> yeah. So it's still pretty it's, low temperature. Yeah. You're we'll getting a little at, impatient, huh? Yeah. We'll look at him again in just in a few minutes. Alrighty. So it has been almost two hours exactly. If you leave it much longer it's going to start to stick huh starting to get a little more color on there let's brown him let's turn him up a little bit so and you got it him... on medium now huh yeah i'm just gonna leave the lid off of him for a few minutes and this is nothing but grease so this is not going to cook out So you just turn the temperature up and you're just going to color it up a little bit more on each side. Yeah, and that's it. It's a nice forearm workout for you. Yep. Okay, now we're going to take him out next time. You're in your special drawer looking for the right tool. Yep. Alrighty, that's a big old hunk of chunk of meat. I don't know if you and I are going to be able to eat that. We might have to eat this over a couple of meals, Mimo. You can take this and make gravy. You want gravy with it? Nah, we don't need no gravy. I'm going to have a sandwich. And okay. a little taste. Mm. I don't want it to burn you. Oh, super duper flavorful. Is it okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just love that. It's done. It's ready. It's a nice brown. It's got a good flavor to it. Makes a great sandwich. And it's easy to cook. I mean, yeah. it's easy to fix. You don't have to fool with it. You don't have no hot oven. You just put it on top of the stove and that's it. So it's ready to go. I can make a sandwich, huh? You can make a sandwich whenever you want. All right, Mom. You're going to be the camera girl, all right? I'm, I'm trusting you. Okay. Okay, get it over here so you can see how tender this is. You got that? See, I'm cutting it with a I butter knife. I see it. So once I get it nice and mangled, I put it on some white bread with a whole bunch of mayonnaise. And now I'm ready to cool my lawn chair out at the trailer park. <laughs> this is my favorite way to eat this kind of meat. Nice, hot, roast beef sandwich. Okay, is it all right? I don't know. You're the camera person. No, is the sandwich all right? Huh? <laughs> yeah, the sandwich is fantastic, though. So flavorful. If you want to print this recipe out, you know, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can find all our recipes there. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. Thanks, Mimo. I ain't got a clue. Well, you didn't drop it, so you did a good job.